Hello everyone. So let's talk about the Divine Mother Kali Ma and Odin, some comparisons and some realizations that I've had. Some of these are a little old, some of them are very new. So with the Divine Mother Kali Ma, I've realized that she's been with me for many lifetimes and that she's supportive of me not in everything that I do, but like a patient and patient and loving mother, she she's with me even when she I do something that she doesn't want, or when she's like, "Okay, you're gonna follow this line of I don't know magic or energy vampires or something like that," and she'd be like, "All right, well, that's not what will lead you to that was not what will lead you to to your best form, your ultimate form." But I understand that you have to play with these things, um, and. I'm going to be with you, uh, and when whether you rise or fall, I'm going to be there for you. Um, very vast being, um, always looking down, always warm, always easily accessible. With Odin, I've realized that his some of his oldest names, like Wodenaz, has to do with fury. Um, and for a long time, I thought that fury hit was anger related or rage related or something like that. But I've come to realize that his forms of when it's talking about rage, it's more talking about magical intensity. It's talking about the vibrancy of tapping into the current that he himself had to work to a tap into. You know, giving the runes, finding the strands of reality that are the Elder Futhark runes, and then understanding them, relating to these primordial spirits, then giving them, giving keys to their to their natures and how to contact them, how to feel feel them, how to use them in magic. Um, that's that path, that magical intensity, that understanding, that ability, that power. That's the fury that is something like Wodenaz, one of his sign, one of his sides. Um, Tyr was supplanted for the Nordic people long ago. He used to be the chief deity. Um, Tyr is a god of justice. Um, he is very um, one-pointed. He is very upright, um, very good in battle, god of the spear, and one who trains someone, understands patience, practice, skill, moral code, and moral authority in that code. Um, but Tyr, I've come to realize, was supplanted by Odin because he didn't have the understanding of magical potential and the ability to give it to humans like Odin did. And he did he honestly didn't have as many sides as Odin does. In every way that he's walked, he's gained a new side, a new facet of his personality. He is <coughs> a being that um, is very versatile because he's always having that mission of um, order of the multiverse so that everything just doesn't collapse so that and always working towards making sure that everything just doesn't fall apart. When I say order, I mean ordered chaos. I don't mean like, you know, everybody has to fall in line the exact same way. I mean, the multiverse is not going to collapse <laughs> because of beings like Odin at the very least. Um, he wants to give all of his children, he is the old father, he wants to give all of his children the time that they need and the power that they need to become who that they truly are meant to be. And to me, the Divine Mother Kali Ma is, is vaster. She's she's much vaster than... She's also multifaceted. But in a very cosmic sense. Very much like Shiva. That's why she's a consort of Shiva. <laughs> um, she... It's so funny because most people think of Kali Ma, they, they don't understand how much of a light being she is. That her actual form that she's given me in, in a vision... Is just composed of variations of light. She's like 
the universal soul of motherhood. And with that comes the ability to destroy those who hurt her children or misguide all souls, corrupt all souls. And she becomes the ferocious mother goddess. And that's why she, of course, all these gods and goddesses, and you know, there's a lot of symbolism here, but they, the vast majority know how to fight and can fight these cosmic wars in ways that we can't imagine. You know, we think of weapons and stuff like that, but these are these are beings who can use supernovas just here and there willy nilly. Um, their as their concept, their experience of time is so much grander than one person's life. It's a wonder that the Divine Mother Kalima is so compassionate and reaching out to individual children at, at times and always accessible by them when our lives are just not even the blinking of our eye, not even a, not even a, a relative second of our breath, just we're just there and gone so quickly. And I feel like she's been following me and she's been guiding me and helping me. She's been my mother for many lifetimes, the Divine Mother Kali Ma. Um, it takes a lot to feel her, want to feel her, and I imagine I've been a devotee many times in the past to the Divine Mother Kali Ma. I, of course, have my own name for her, the Divine Mother Kali Ma. Ma Kali is usually what people say. Kali Ma is what sounds good to me in my, in, in my head. Um, but it doesn't, there's a lot of things you can call the Divine Mother Kali Ma. There's a lot of things. Um, if Shiva is a step before the spirit beyond creation, she is two steps. And that's why she's the loving aspect of that which is in constant communion with the source. And um, Odin, also multiversal, more limited to beings like us, like human beings, and knowing how to deal with a variety of chaotic beings, but not all of them. His battlefield is a little bit more limited. Um, hers is a long process of understanding. Odin is very grim. Divine Mother Kalima, um, a lot of the time when you behold and feel her actual form, sh it sh it's hard to describe a, a human emotion beyond compassion to her, but you feel, just like you feel the sun's rays outside and it, you understand that it gives life to everything, um, sometimes it's good to put images and um, names to the sun. Um, it's useful. You can work with the sun like that. But, and I mean, like sun, the soul, um, S-O-L. <laughs> we call it the sun, soul, and the moon, Luna, which I really like. Um, it's hard to ascribe, you know, human characteristics to what I feel from the Divine Mother Kalima when I see her, when I look at my third eye, when I'm offering food to her, at least some of everything that I eat which I'll probably write a little section of a book just on how I do that because I just came upon this practice rather than being taught it. There's certain ways to hold the spine, certain visualizations to have. I'll go into that another time. Um, but just like we feel the sun's rays, if you can feel the Divine Mother Kali Ma, you feel the warmth of compassion just as clearly as if you feel the sun's rays and you can see the sun. Except if you look into her, it won't be, you won't be over, your eyes won't be overwhelmed in a way, or your your being won't be overwhelmed with light, more with empathy, compassion, understanding, and love. So, if anything of that can overwhelm you, it's more that you start to disappear into that compassion. And, you know, I've felt those times where it feels like, you know, I'm disappearing into it when I'm looking to my third eye toward her, um... Odin, so much of connections to Odin, ways to ways that he's taught man have been lost. We have to, the Hindus, <laughs> they've been tracking Divine Mother Kali Ma for quite a while. Kind of like astrologers in a way, tracking the skies, but tracking her and her, what she is, her influence. Um, a lot of connections to Odin have been lost, so we have to find them again. And... Odin is still there. We can still reach out. Though a lot of it will be chalked up to personal gnosis. And honestly, personal gnosis is the way that you connect to these gods and goddesses. 
Um, that's, why I'm a, that's why I'm more of a, a shamanic practitioner than a something like uh, what I would consider a priest or something like that, because dogma, code, specific rituals, never vibed with that. But I have vibed with very intimate personal gnosis connections that I try to explain uh, with the Divine Mother Kalima and Odin as well. At any rate, uh, this has been a little video about my comparisons and recent re uh, you know, realizations and some older realizations about the Divine Mother Kalima and Odin. I hope this has been interesting. If you like this video at all, hit that thumbs up down there. It helps out the channel. If you want to leave a comment, even if it's just something simple, that also helps the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe and share this video wherever you like. I don't mind. Thank you very much and all of you. Have a wonderful day.